We're on the better river today, Chilak BC. We're gonna show you guys how to get down to the fish and how to reef some water. Very important if you're out there field fishing and you haven't really got too many fish this season, this could help you a lot. So hit that subscribe button. I'll be posting weekly stuff. At least a couple times a week here, I'll be updating my stuff. So, uh... Hey everyone, uh, we're at another run here. I'm gonna show you guys where these fish will be sitting sometimes in these slow conditions. A lot of fish will be uh, stacked off these rocks here for cover as it kind of goes down here into white white water. You want to fish right off of those uh, seams, right where my rod tip is. And you follow that seam down. I'm not saying there's not going to be fish around this area, but most of them will be stale or older ones you get in that slower stuff because they're lazy, but you get a lot of really nice fish off those seams. It's really important to look for uh, structures like this where you have uh, a big boulder and then water coming down and then you see kind of a seam in the back here there's about two three seams here actually it's one there one there and then one there that's the main main three seams for the spot that you want to be targeting you could target them off this seam too but like I said most of the fish aren't gonna be that close to shore sometimes you'll get them off here but it's fairly shallow actually and shallows up really fast so like I said the main thing is target those seams and you'll be successful. Just make sure that uh, if you're hitting bottom too much, just be above the fish. Fish like to grab stuff usually a foot above them. If you're too close to them and it's low water, clear, they're gonna spook away and they're not gonna wanna bite. So be above the fish, know your depth, get down, set it up, and then drift those seams and uh, you'll be surprised how many fish you can get on, guys. Hope that helped people. If it did, uh, give it a thumbs up. So as you can see here guys, it's kind of like a shallow run. There's boulders through this run here. I'm just gonna explain to you guys how to read this and where fish might be sitting in these conditions. You don't necessarily wanna go right down the middle of these, unless if you're fishing bait and you can get it to go steady. But if you're fishing the bead like I am today, it's the classic bead, you're gonna wanna uh, target on the side of those seams, closer to the water. You can kind of see where my rod points. I'll point to the edge, where my rod is. See how there's like a chain, the water changes color, you clear it, you can't really see. The fish will be right off those uh, seams, all the way down to there. So that's what you want to do. Like you see a big boulder there, where I'm pointing my rod at. The fish will be right along sitting along this side and they'll be on this side but I find 90% of your fish will be caught on the farther seam towards the faster water because you still have they like cover especially in this low clear water they're not going to be sitting right in front of you in this stuff it's very rare you get them here it's always tucked in behind those oxygen seams where they can get oxygen and easily have a cover too and they can come out and grab food pretty pretty fast because you still have react pretty quick to your presentations so uh, we'll show you some more examples here at our and also guys, uh, off these schemes where it's kind of faster, you're gonna wanna be fishing uh, either beads or worms, something they could grab faster so it's more of an impact bait kind of on them on the water. So try those instead of like roe and shrimp because uh, it's not gonna be as effective in these areas. Also uh, another trick guys, uh, honestly you have to fucking, if you go into runs and it's really busy, and you see there's a lot of guys, don't panic all the time because a lot of guys don't use the right gear, they're not fishing the right depth, you know, you'd be surprised what guys are doing out there and they're like wasting their time. But um, if you see guys fishing a certain thing and they're, they got a fish on it, trick is, use the opposite. So if a guy's using like a pink worm, you know, maybe go with a dark worm or the guy's using like a peach bead, go with maybe a brighter bead. Trick is to Give them something different, even something they never you think they never seen before. You'd be surprised, even bass gear would get steelhead because they, they don't see it, right? So.